I still got this Manchester image and what I want to do with you is to look at layers now layers getting your head around layers once you do that uh, lots of other things start to fall into place and you can see here we open this image and it gives us an eye icon uh, an image it gives us a name background it also shows a padlock to show its uh, locked background layer um, so what can we do well we could duplicate this layer we could call up a new layer from this little icon down at the bottom here which uh, we just clicked on it it would give us an empty blank layer above we can go across to our layer menu and either get a new layer using the shortcut shift control and shift command n if you're on a mac of course uh, there are lots of different options here we could duplicate the background layer we could get a fill layer an adjustment layer any of these options are available to us but to start with to really get you thinking about what layers do what you can do with the layer I'm just going to uh, go down to the bottom make sure that backgrounds click there and just click on this create a new layer icon button here and that gives us a layer above uh, it's an empty layer there's nothing in it it's not affecting the background layer at all we could change the blend modes of this layer uh, let's just try darken there's nothing in there to affect the pixels below uh, even if we click it on and off, uh, if we even if we change the opacity. So we have the opacity of these layers to play with as well, as well as the blend mode. Let's go back to normal on this one and see what we can do. Well, the first thing we can do, we can actually change the name of it. So if you just double click in there, this will give you a little dialog box here. And uh, we can call this uh, anything you want. I'm just going to call this one fill and then just call it OK. And that then will name your layer so you know where you're up to. Uh, I'm going to fill it with a color. Uh, so it's an empty layer at the moment. Uh, we can go to our color picker down here, just uh, click on it. This will bring you your color picker or your foreground color picker uh, option box up. Uh, if you just mouse down these little handles, you can scroll through all these colors. Uh, choose a color of your choice. I really want to go back to this uh, orangey tangerine color. If you mouse down and click on there, you'll see there it'll choose a color, click OK. That'll set your foreground color. So that color now is set there. So if we choose a tool like the paint bucket, uh, or the gradient tool here uh, you can see up here it goes from orange to white which is uh, replicating your foreground to background colors there on a gradient I really want to do it very simply uh, you can either hit K or just choose the paint bucket if we just click inside that fill layer that fills the layer up with all that orange color let's have a look let's click the icon on and off so you can see there we've got a layer full of orange above our Manchester layer. Uh, we've got the blend modes, we've also got the opacity. Now one of the first things you could do is just to drag that opacity slider up and down and see what effect it has on the background layer. So we're applying this orange color in normal blend mode, but just changing the opacity, you can see there, we click on and off the icon. And we can see it's affecting the uh, image underneath. It's adding that orangey tinge to things. Uh, you can play around with different colors, of course. Uh, change the opacity to suit. We can also look at these blend modes. Now, in normal blend mode, uh, nothing's happening because it's orange. Orange is the dominant color. Uh, it's really covering all the background up. Uh, if we look at the drop down menu, of course, we can choose different blend modes. Uh, if we go through these, if we choose dark, and of course, it's going to look at the pixels underneath and darken those. So th those lighter pixels over here on the right hand side, it's going to do a job of filling those with that orangey color. Uh, of course, we go to lighten. It's going to look at the pixels underneath. It's going to lighten things, but give it an orange tinge as well. And we just click on and off there with the eye icon to see what's going on. Don't forget, you've got your opacity slider as well. So you can just drag that across there and then just fine tune things. You can see there, initially it's lightening up those shadow areas. And then as we go all the way across, it's adding that orange tinge all the way through the image. Now we have these other ones. We can go to color burn. Uh, multiply if you multiply it, you see there it darkens things and it's multiplying the value of the pixels underneath uh, color burn uh, will give you an interesting really harsh uh, color effect don't forget do that play around with your opacity slider so you've got the uh, uh, layer blend mode and the opacity slider to work with you on this specific layer and of course there's lots of other uh, different blend modes in here uh, favorites overlay soft light and uh, hard light. Uh, if you've got your scroll mouse uh, activated in your preferences, you can just scroll through these blend mode colors. And again, remember to uh, have a look at them and uh, learn about. So this is all about learning about what your um, uh, a filled layer will do above uh, a background image. And uh, just play around with those blend modes. Uh, look at the more obscure ones, hue. Uh, it just changes the hue in there. Uh, an interesting one would be the uh, 
colour one, let's have a look at uh, luminosity first. Luminosity not so good on this, um, if you're using a black and white uh, duplicate image it might be interesting, but colour, you can see there, it actually replaces the colour underneath of the uh, background. So you're replacing the colour with the orange. Again, think about the opacity, uh, think about uh, taking the opacity up and down on there. Remember we created a new layer using the icon down there. We could have also gone across here to our new layer and used the shortcut, shift Control n Shift-Command-N if you're on a Mac, of course. We uh, can double-click in there. That will give us uh, the opportunity to name it, if you want to name it. We went across and we chose a colour from the colour picker. Uh, clicked OK. So select that colour as our foreground colour. We then went to our paint bucket, which shortcut is K. Uh, we looked at the gradient, which is the G shortcut, which went from orange to white. We'll look at that later on. Uh, and then we looked at our blend modes and our opacity. Okay, that's the first one we're going to be looking at with uh, looking at layers and what layers do. Uh, and uh, thanks for looking, of course. And until the next time, uh, from me, that's bye for now.